We're coming to the end of the age. And the real question comes down to, what are we doing with the life and the time that we have? We can rise, shine. This is time to rescue the perishing, care for the dying. That's why you're needed. That's why we're needed. We are never, never been more needed than we are right now. Amen. Your obedience or your disobedience has a lot to do with what God wants to accomplish in this world. God's looking to work with us. The Great Commission is not called the Great Mission. He wants to work with us as he is, so are we in this world. That's how winning's done. Stuff cannot stay when you worship the Lord. Harassment can't stay. Torment cannot stay. Sickness cannot stay. Poverty cannot sp right. stay. Broken relationships. When you get up and praise the Lord, it's a faith act. You're saying, Lord, I don't care about my circumstances. It doesn't matter what my circumstances are. I believe you above my circumstances. And I'm taking your word above any other word. You want to know how to get a breakthrough? You worship God. You praise the Lord even when you don't feel it. And I believe the Lord is calling many of you to rise up in what you're called to do and rise up and be what you're called to be. Today is the day to begin to take it serious. Today, if you hear his voice, don't harden your heart. We are living in a day when we are needed more than we have ever been needed. God is calling us to action to set people free from all kinds of nonsense. We're surrounded in a world that is filled with nonsense. And we have the answers. And what the enemy wants to do is drive us back into the boat and hightail it home so we don't have to deal with these issues. But in fact, we really are the only ones anointed to deal with these issues. We're anointed to deal with these issues, to set people free and to open it up to get rid of that impasse. That's who we are. You know, God's going to build your life up. Psalm 126, those that sowed in tears are going to reap with songs of joy. I believe as the world begins to see some downturns, you're going to begin to see some upswings by favor, by God's grace.